Awesome Con main stage host. Give it up for Steph Strickland. We're here for you, but without further ado, let's bring to the stage, from the Upside Down, from Stranger Things, Mr. Noah Schnapp! Come on! As someone who is a teenager, how do you manage to keep yourself grounded in the face of this? I would colossally fail. So I'm curious how you're managing to do it. Um, I mean, I, I think it's just a good support system, good family, friends, and of course my fans are so amazing. And, and definitely the best fans in the world, so I'm lucky for that. I, I so appreciate everyone here already lined up to get their questions answered, so I will get out to them right away. Let's go ahead and start with a question over here. Hi, what's your Hi. name? Hi. Hi. First question. A lot of pressure. Okay. First question. Uh, I don't know if this is going to live up, but um, my question is, did you ever have any stress dreams or nightmares about the show while you were filming? Yeah, good question. I mean, not while I'm filming because it's all kind of fake and I, you can see it all behind the scenes. It's just like all production and they add it all in after. But after watching the show, which I just watched like a week ago, now I'm having nightmares because it was scary and I was not expecting how scary it was going to be. So, definitely, that, that like, ooh. Thank you for the question. Thank you. It's so interesting to me that you say it looks so fake behind the scenes. Well, it doesn't look fake. Okay, it's okay. just like not, they don't add in all the, like, after they add in all the spores and the music and the scary stuff and that's what gets your heart racing. But when you're just watching it behind the camera, I'm like, Oh, that's Millie. That's not Eleven. <laughs> that's Millie. When you are filming, is it, this is, it may be a dumb question, but I always love this because the, the mood of the show is so dark. Is it brightly lit and they just drop it down in post? Like when you're acting, is it like we're here now? Or is it like mood lighting? What is it like? Yeah, I mean, the lighting is definitely a huge part of our show. I mean, you see with all the storylines, like the Russia is very blue and ours, California is very light and orange and... I mean, I think they, they just dim the lights. <laughs> I don't have a better answer. <laughs> I love it. I was always just curious. Like, is it, you know, cafeteria lighting while you're working and then after they make it look so dark? Yeah. Hi, how are you? You got a question? All right. Which is your favorite episode? Of season four or all? All. 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 No well, pressure. They won't let me watch the second volume yet, so <laughs> I don't know about that. But I'm sure those will be up there, but for now, I think the last episode of season three, as I just rewatched it and I was like crying, and it's just so good. I love it. That's a great question. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> question over here. Hi. Hi, my name is Oswaldo Nova from Maryland, and my question cool. was if Will's feelings for a certain one of his friends was something that was <laughs> planned from the beginning or something that kind of came to be throughout the show. Well, I mean, I don't write it, so I don't know, honestly. But I mean, I think, because there's, like, you definitely see it already from the start in season one with, like, the, the names they're calling Will and stuff, so I don't think it, w it just came to be. It was definitely, like, they have, they, they're very smart, the Duffers, so they, they outline everything from the beginning. They already know how season five's gonna end, and they plan it all out, so they definitely know where they want to go with Will, and I don't, I think, yeah, it's always been pretty, planned out, but we'll see how far Thank it you. goes. Do you, we've discussed this in some of the other panels, do you have any sort of relationship with the writers in the writer's room? Are you able to say, hey, I don't know that this works or does work? Well, yeah, I mean, to an extent. I, I see, I've been seeing so many theories on my the TikTok for you page, so I, I mean, I literally just Your texted. Your for you page must be the best. Yeah, it's <laughs> crazy, it. it's so much Stranger Things, but I love it. Like, if I don't see a Stranger Things video, I just skip it. I'm only looking for the Stranger Things video. So, I, 
I saw this theory on TikTok and I was like, whoa, this is crazy. So I texted the Duffers and I was like, you guys have to write this. Like, this is so good. So I've, I've like put my insight here and there. I love that. You know, he has like, what, 21 million followers on TikTok? Yeah, <laughs> who's counting after like, I don't know, 14 million, I mean, please. That's, but it is, it is so fascinating to see um, your world through the eyes of social media. Um, do you find, you mentioned that you actually looked at the comments and I was wondering that, or, you know, or, or check your For You page. How do you manage that when people want to believe they have direct access to you with opinions, good, bad, or otherwise? How does that work? Um, I mean, I love social media. I think it's the best, I mean, it obviously has its flaws, but I think it's the best way for me to be able to interact with my fans. And I think TikTok specifically is so fun because fans that I've n never followed or don't know about, I get to see on my For You page. So it's just a great way to connect with them. and. I, I'm loving it right now because I'm seeing so much, so many edits and, and cool theories and I'm, it's so fun. It's such a good time right now. I love TikTok and I'm almost 50 and they call me geriatric. I don't care. I don't care. I have a home there too, you know. Hey, let's get to your question. Hi. Hi, hello. My name's Kylie. Hi. And my question is, what are you most excited yet scared for to be going to college? Um, I think, um, I don't know. I mean, there's obviously like s scary parts about just growing up and leaving home and stuff, but I'm ready to just like move out and not be with my parents and like <laughs> um, have more independence, I guess. But I'm just excited for everything and, and for all to come. Thank you. Great question. Hi, question over here. Hi, um, my Hi. name is Renee and um, I, uh, well, there's a little bit of a story before my question. Okay. Um, so in season one, Will was trapped in the upside down and season two was, was possessed and it wasn't until season three that we really got to see Will's personality coming through. Uh, the scene where Will breaks down and destroys Castle Byers really resonated with me. I've had moments like that and it was just beautifully acted, so I just want to say thank you for that. Um, my question is, since we know season five is going to be the last season and we won't get the, to see the kids grow up into adulthood, what do you hope and imagine for Will in the future? That's a good question. Um... Well, for Will, I mean, if they don't do it soon enough, I hope he just is able to find his happiness and his truth and be able to express himself. And he's so locked up with all his feelings and his emotions. And I just want to finally see him, like, say what he wants to say and just be happy. And, and yeah, he's never happy. So I'm waiting for that. <laughs> that is a great question. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Hi, my name's Drew. I'm from Drew. Newton, Georgia. All right. Um, uh, first of all, I want to say I'm a big fan. Season 4 came out the day I graduated high school, so I was like watching that right before I went to go graduate high school. So Happy fun. graduation! As you uh, should. Thank you. But <laughs> my question is, would you be interested in playing like any character in a Marvel movie, villain or hero? Yeah, I mean, of course. <laughs> I, I, um, I probably like Spider-Man. <laughs> I think would be. I also just am such a big fan of Tom Holland. I think he did a great job. Cause his are they done now? That or they no. there's more. Okay. Well, I, he's still done doing great. And I, 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 you, I'm not coming for you, Tom. I'm not no, I'm not. I love Tom and I love Spider-Man. Do you do you have a chance to connect with other actors who are out there? I mean, the, the show is so busy. Especially with like season four coming out, a lot of them have like DM'd me and like been just tweeting and stuff. Like I love like I saw Doja Cat was like tweeting about Stranger Things. It's just so cool. Speaking of like TikTok, she's amazing. Like if you see her account, she's fantastic. She's we have a, the best. She really is. We have a question over here. Yes, hi. hi. I'm a little short. Yeah, <laughs> We do hear you. Okay, awesome, awesome. So I, I know that you're best friends on the outside world, you know, with Millie, you know, for example. I know, like, growing up, as being like a child actor and so forth, you're all close knit, you're growing up together. So my question is, if you could think of this, what was the best cry laugh moment where you all were just crying because you were laughing so hard while on set? Well, we have a bunch of those. I mean, I think the oh my god, there's so many. I, one. The funniest times is when it's when we can't laugh and we're we have to hold it back. And on season four, I don't know if they're doing a blooper reel or anything, but on season four, there's one scene in the next volume that we filmed with. I don't know who I filmed it with because you don't have to see. But we we were it was we. I mean, just all of us were all together and we were just. Well, I can't tell this one. Pick a different one. Pick a different one. Okay. Um, 
I mean, you know, it was me and Millie had to do a bunch of like press where we just spent days doing interview after interview after interview, like every single different outlet, and, and you get like a little delusional at, at, by the end of the day because it's like just over and over and over. So by the end of the day, we were just we could not like. We, the interviewer would ask a question, we would just die laughing. Like, it was so funny for no reason. It's just like when you get so delusional, it's like everything's funny. So that's definitely. And we did we did a like song association thing for on YouTube, and it's, it was so funny. We were laughing so hard. So Del, you can go watch it. I'm definitely gonna check it out. Thank you. I think if I ever get hired to do a junket, I'm gonna try to go at the end of the day. Just so no, I know. You, know, you know what we did is we would because it was getting a little like. It's the same thing over and over. Right. So we played a game of like, we would someone would give us a word and we would have to work it into the. Interview. I do this game. I do this game. Like absolutely. Yeah, okay, what so was the hard. hardest word you got? I love this game. Oh my god. I, someone would be like, I don't know, fiddlesticks. We'd be like, I don't. I would never say that. But no, I'm gonna work was, it in. I was like alligator and like all these random words and and the interviewers like didn't. Really, I think they were starting to catch on, and then we were we had to stop the game because we were just being too immature. But <laughs> I, I bonded with you here. Go ahead, question. I love that game. Question over here. Hi, my name uh, is Nina. Um, I'm gonna try not to pass out. Um, it's okay. Um, so it's okay. It's it's so it's nerve wracking too, right? Because. But, you know, I'm glad. Oh, I see you wrote the question down. That's very, very smart. I love it. I would give you a hug, but what's your name, sir? What's your name, sir? Oh, my name's Dan. Hi, Dan. Very nice to meet you. And it was Nina. Hi, Nina. Um, um, are you happy with the direction that Will's going moving forward to season five? Yeah, I mean, from what I've read and seen in volume one, I think they're setting it up really well for what needs to happen in season five and I'm excited I'm interested to see how they tie it all in and also like explain why like why was Will the first victim and like just tie it in back to season one I'm interested to see what they do with it thank you love you yeah love you too Great. Uh, thank you for naming an episode which is a project oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Back to me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Neil. So it, it, you touched on this already, but how far in advance do you get to know what's coming? For, um, like for season five? I mean, they really don't. I mean, for me especially, they've been calling me, the Duffers call me the Tom Holland of our, of our show. And I was like, what are you talking about? I am not, that's an extreme. But they, like, whenever I ask anything, they won't tell me anything. They're like, you're gonna spoil it at a Comic-Con. So, I, they, they keep, I really don't know until, like, the day we start filming, we read the scripts and kind of, it's, they're, they're very secretive. But they, they have, like, the whole ending planned out and, like, who's gonna, like whatever. <laughs> like, who is it? You need to show them the clip where you didn't get, talk about the the blooper. Like you, you can do it. You can. They need to have the trust and the faith in you. They have to trust. You I mean, they they should it. I'm no. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, too much pressure. Hi, question over here. Hi, I'm Jenny from Hi. Alexandria, Hi, Virginia, and my question is, what do you think is the most important message that viewers of Stranger Things should take away from the show, and why is that message important and impactful in your opinion? Yeah, there's so many messages. I mean, I think, I mean, I know with Will, especially this season, you kind of see him, he's not really fitting in, and, and everyone finds their groups in, in the high school with the jocks and the nerds, and, and then Will's kind of just straggling, and he can never fit in anywhere, and I think that's a, a good message in its own to just, like, tell people in the world who can't fit in and feel like they don't belong that, like, you're not alone, and that's a normal part of growing up or even any stage of life, and I think... You should own it and, and own your weirdness and be unique and, and that's the best way to be. Thank you. It's one of the cool things about coming to Comic Cons and it's interesting when a show picks up the sort of traction that then makes you get to come out here as a guest, right? Because not every show uh, carries that and so I love that you talk about whatever it is you're into 
that's what Comic Cons are all about. We all have our thing, and you're here because these people are into this show and they're into you as an actor. It's so it's got to be overwhelming. It's amazing. I mean, I think especially the the people I meet at at these things are like the best type of fans. They're always they're so cool. That's you guys. I love it. I love it. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Uh, I'm Amaya, and I was wondering because in season one, um, most of Will's scenes were in the Upside Down, and I was wondering what some of the differences were um, from season one to season two. Um, well, for season one, I just wasn't there. I was like, <laughs> it was just nothing. I mean, I, I filmed a few like flashbacks. I was really just there for like a week, and I just filmed like some flashbacks, me disappearing, and then getting saved, and then it was it. And then season two, it was like, really, I moved down to where we film in Atlanta. I was there for like six, seven months, and just a lot of intensive, crazy stuff, and um, it, it was definitely, a, I, I loved filming season two, just being down there, and being with everyone, and that's when I really got close with, with the rest of the cast. Thank you. It's a great Thank question. You. Hi, how are you? <clears throat> Hi, uh, Chris from San Antonio. Hello. Uh, so, as a longtime fan of Sean Astin, it was an absolute joy to see him in season two. Uh, were you also a fan, and also what was life like with him? Of course. How could you not be a fan? I mean, I I loved working with him. I remember being on set because I think his character was like written to die, which is kind of sad, but. We ended up just loving him so much. And I remember Winona walking around our set with like a sign and she was like, everyone join in. Like we're petitioning that he's not dying. The Duffers cannot kill Bob. I love him too much. We love that. Yeah, so she was, she was doing her thing, protesting and hoping that they would save him. But I mean, he was kind of written to die. So it was, it's unfortunate, but we did love him and I loved working with him. Awesome, man, thanks. Thank you. Now you have to make sure you're the next panel so you can ask him that question too, right? That's actually perfect. Hi, how are you? Hi. Uh, I'm Juliana from hi, Juliana. DC. Um, I was just thinking, even before all of the supernatural stuff started happening, you know, Will didn't have the easiest life at home and all, and I was wondering how that factors into your acting choices. Mm. Well, I mean, I think Will just has a lot of trauma. So... <laughs> I mean, I, th I think he's just, yeah, he's going through so much and it's just layers and layers of things and I just have to kind of remember when I'm playing it that there's always like a, a further kind of thing in his mind that he's thinking about and it's not just the surface level, like being upset, but because of what and why. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun. Like, like when I'm doing an emotional scene with Will and I'm just crying all day, it's like, it's, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We have had, you know, actors who have decades of experience sort of classically trained in the theater, and then there's other folks who are like, no, I just show up and I'm right in the headspace right away. Um, there's an actress who I love, Katie Sackhoff, who was like, yeah, I can just, yeah, right? She's, I texted her too, I was like, John Carlo's amazing. So for you, what is your process? Um, how does that work for you? Yeah, I mean, it depends on what they're gonna ask of me because it's always something new. But I mean, I mean, I've had, like in season two, I had to do like a seizure scene. And I remember just sitting in my bed the night before, like looking on YouTube of actual seizures and what it looks like. And there's definitely some weird, like things you have to do sometimes to, to get in the character and understand what's going on. But it's, it's so fun, I love it. And, and with crying scenes, it's just like, I always listen to music. Um, and then it kind of mellows you out, and then it's just, you put yourself in the character and you just cry, and it, it feels great. Like, I'm, I'm all, people always are surprised because they're always like, like when I do my crying scenes, I'm obviously so emotional, and then I come off set and I'm like, so joyful. But I think it's just so much fun for me to just be able to like express all these different types of emotions and play with it, and it doesn't need to be taken too seriously. That's, that's actually really incredible because the idea of having to sort of cry on command and be able to dip in and out of that, I'd have to put like soap in my eyeballs and it'd be horribly. So I'm very impressed with the fact that that's something you can tap into. Question over here? Hi, I'm um, oh, got so close. Nick from uh, Harrisburg, Virginia. Season four, Chef's Kiss, it's so good. The show has been amazing. Can't wait to see how it ends. But I'm gonna switch things up a little bit because I'm a diehard New York Rangers fan and you have been 
all over their social media this postseason. I'm curious, how did that come about? Are you are you a Rangers fan? Were you even a hockey fan? Did they just say, hey, come out? Yeah, I mean, good question. <laughs> Change of pace. I mean, I'm from New York, so I, of course, have to be a... Uh, is that, where are you guys? Is everyone from DC or no? They're all over. People all come over. from all over. Virginia, Maryland. Pennsylvania. Okay. DMP. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, I just, I actually, my dad is from Montreal, so he enforced this like Canadians hockey. It's just in Montreal, yep. <laughs> and I mean, I just pushed that to the side. I was like, I'm a New Yorker. This is where I grow up. I'm a Rangers fan. And I. Awesome. Thank you. Go Rangers. Go Rangers. <laughs> Hi, question over here. Hi, I'm Alicia from Maryland. Cool I shirt. Was just, thank you. Um, I was just. The will is upside down. It's <laughs> close. I have that. Um, really? That's so cool. Okay, I was just wondering um, what character from Stranger Things do you think you're most like and why? I don't know. I mean, I think every character offers something that everyone can relate to. And I don't, I wouldn't say I'm entirely like any of them. Um, but I think I have like pieces of all the characters, pieces of Will, pieces of Mike, pieces of even Eleven. Because, I mean, as hard as you may think it is to relate to Eleven, she is a freak and she doesn't care and she doesn't care what people think, think about her. And I feel like you can connect with that a little bit. So I, yeah, I mean, I take from all the characters, I would say. And that's the beauty of our show. Thank you. I do love, too, that with that sort of, uh, you know, 80s-style vibe, uh, seeing that come into, like, the, the public consciousness as we see um, a younger audience here as well makes me happy. Um, and, you know, seeing Winona and seeing some of the songs make a comeback as well, right? Yeah, the songs. You have a question coming up? Wait, that song in season four is amazing. Kate Bush. Kate running up that hill. Oh! So, on repeat. He, if you go check out his TikTok, he actually has uh, one where he's cut together all the different speeds of that song. And I'm of the age when I actually listened to that when it came out. So I was like, oh, Julie. So I love it. I was just, thing. I was driving with my mom and I and I had the song just keep going. And she was like, Noah, like, I, I love this song too, but it's, we've played it five times. Like, it's enough. But I, I love it. Repeat. That was a Winona thing too, wasn't it? Didn't she, she, I had read accurately or not, um, that she had kind of suggested that as a song, that she was a fan. Oh, I mean, I don't know, maybe she was. You could text her. Now. I should, I should I ask. <laughs> they definitely let us kind of give them whatever insight, so I'm sure that's true. I love it. Question over here. Hi, how are you? Oh, good. Uh, my name is Jackson. I'm from Jackson, Florida. Have you ever felt like, um, like, you wanted, like, to change, like, the storyline, or were you, like, uh, happy or sad about it, or, like, anxious or something like that? But in general, or with Will? Um, yeah, I guess, like, in general. Um, I mean, I don't know, like, obviously there's some parts where I'm like, I, I, I don't love as much as others, but I think it all is, like, there for a reason, and the Duffers know what they're doing, and I trust them, and I think it's all, like, I think the important part of our show is they take so much time to just make you care about all the characters, so if it feels like some parts it can be like, okay, let's move it on, it's, it's for a reason, you want it like attach yourself to these characters so I think that's like I, I, I trust them and I think they do it for a reason okay thank you so much thanks Jackson hi how are you hi my name is Jess I'm from Maryland hi. Um, I wanted to know do you see yourself pursuing acting more do you see yourself going into like directing producing writing or something completely different yeah I mean hockey <laughs> uh, I'd love to like do it all. I mean, I don't know about writing. I don't. I, the minds of writing Stranger Things. I don't think I could ever do that. But I think I'd love to like direct or produce something, and then of course continue acting. And yeah, I, I want to try it all. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. How are you? Hi. My name is Zena. Um, if you were nice outfit. Given, thank you. <laughs> um, if you were given the freedom to write in a season for Stranger Things, what would you want to happen to the character? Anything you want, just go crazy. A lot of power. I mean, I think I would. I, I mean, I would kill a bunch of the characters. I would, I, what? Me and Millie have talked about this before, and the Duffers like got mad at us. They were like, "You can't be saying you want to kill everyone." Like, 
but I, I'm saying it again. I think, I, I, there is, it's a huge cast. Like when we were at the premiere, our picture, we, could, we couldn't fit everyone in it because it's so big. So I mean, I think it, also I love like, I, it's so sad to, to watch someone die, but like, what, I, I don't know how to explain it, but just like, you feel so attached to a character and then crying from a show, it's like, that's how you know it's a good show. You're so attached to them. So I'd love to just like, just see more of that. I'd love to slaughter them all. Not even, like, by the end, so we can have them for as long. And, like, maybe we will. <laughs> Thank you for Thank your question. You. Question over here. Hi, I'm Niels from Maryland. Um, Hi. I watched through a tornado at school, so that made me think, if there was no upside down and Eleven didn't have her powers, so then the virus wouldn't be, what do you think the dynamic of the party would be like if there was no supernatural? It'd be more boring. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what would our show be without the supernatural? I mean, I think the whole point of the party and the whole game is like it foresh foreshadows what happens in, in the Upside Down. So I think if there was no supernatural world, then what would I don't, the It'd be like point a, of the a game friendship. Is, it'd be a show about sort of friendship and the struggles of, I guess, growing up, maybe. Yeah, I guess you would yeah. see more, less like battles with the monsters and just. Because at the end of the day, that's what the show is about. Like, at the end of the day, it is just like a, a backdrop for what the really important part is about friendship and all those kind of morals. And so I think they could still tell that story. It would just wouldn't attract the audience that looks for that stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, question over here. Hi, my name is Marissa, and I'm from Maryland. Hi. And uh, what was your favorite thing to do behind the scenes? Um. So, I think this past season I had a lot of fun just filming in New Mexico. I've never, that's like where we filmed our California stuff and I've never been, usually we're always in Atlanta and this was kind of like a separate unit, a small crew and just like, like the boys and then these four boys and then Millie for parts of it and it was just so much fun and I loved just having this small group and small crew and, and I think I, I was... It was really exciting, and I'm excited for next season to see what they do. Like, are we going to be back in Hawkins? Or how they because do? you don't know, because they're not telling you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your question. Welcome, love you. Oh, oh, we love you too. Question over here. Hi, my name is Allie, and Hi. Uh, at the end of season three, uh, Joyce decided to move all of you, uh, Eleven and Jonathan, down to California. Do you wish that you stayed in Hawkins? Or um, I mean, no, I loved, uh, like, just our whole filming process was so much fun, and I loved just, like, being in a different setting, and I think it was important for Will, especially, because we're so used to seeing him, like, with the monster and fighting the supernatural forces and all that stuff. I think it was important for us to see, like, his teenage side and like his actual personality and see him like talk and and not just like cry so like <laughs> it was i think it was important and nice to see that side of will and i'm sure he'll be back in hawkins so thank you thank you now every time i see you on screen crying be like he actually likes this hi <laughs> question over here um, that died Barb, I would say. Oh. Also Bob, but Bob. Thank you. Thank you. But it. it was nice that we saw that like in season four they did the Oh, I love that. I was like, Yes! <laughs> I love that you see it and get as excited as we do. Question over here. Hi, my name is Izzy from Maryland. Hi. Um I just wanna say Will is like my favorite character oh. in Stranger Things, but my question is, um, so I know you said all those things about um, crying on command and nothing's ever like that serious, but were there any moments like either you were watching someone act or you just watched the show where you actually genuinely felt sad for the character and like... Watching the show or filming? Um, whether it was like watching them act like at the, you know... Yeah, oh my god, studio. totally. I, I had like an accidental kind of tear up when, in, when we were filming season four. It, like Eleven was surrounded by all those bullies and then she was at the school and then they threw her in the middle and threw the diorama on the ground and like when I was filming it we were both talking about like wow this is it like it felt so real and I was like tearing up for her 
and that was pretty like kind of real I guess but there's definitely so many moments where it's like I'm not even acting I'm just like skip like the shootout scene in season four that we had never rehearsed it with the the bullets and all the action and the glass breaking until the first actual shot so all of it was rehearsed and walked through and they were like bang bang but it's it obviously isn't the same so then they just like yelled action we were filming and all of a sudden it's like bang 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 glass shake bang bang and i was like ah like, i was so scared i was like do i duck like what if it hits me like i thought i was gonna die and that was on camera and you could see my true fear so that was not happening. i love thank the question you. thank you question over here Hi, Che from Virginia. Yep. With your Marvel question from earlier, I'd like to know which you, which Spider-Man do you think is the best? Oh. Well, I feel like I'm young, so I didn't grow up on like Tobey Maguire. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, we heard you. <laughs> um, they're all incredible. I think they all offer like one is like the best Spider-Man, one is the best um, Peter Parker. I think. They all have something, they're all really good, and I mean, mine, I have to say Tom Holland, just because like, that's who I love, but I think Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire are also incredible. That was a great question and a wonderfully diplomatic answer. <laughs> <laughs> question over here. Hi, um, I'm Nora, I'm from Baltimore, uh, and um, my, kind of, my question's kind of like different. Uh, what's your favorite ship from Shit <laughs> Things? <laughs> I don't have a fa I have a bunch. I think <laughs> he is prepared. I love Joyce and Hopper. Like that re when they reunited, I was like, oh, that was amazing. Um, obviously, Byler is just at its peak right now. It's they're they're building that up, so definitely ship that. And then I think Stancy. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people wouldn't agree. <laughs> I love their chemistry this season together. I love that you even have the right ship names. Like, you really have thought about that. <laughs> Question over here. Hi, I'm uh, Katie from Virginia, uh, and I have two questions. Can I ask them both of you? If you can do it quickly, just because I want to try to get to as many people as I can. Okay, so first question. Uh, a lot of people ask, like, what's the worst fan experience you've ever had? What's the best fan experience you've ever had? Um, I mean, I've had million great experiences with fans. I mean, most of them are like the best. So it's hard to pick one. I mean, it's just, I wouldn't say it's anything specific, but it's nice when I can like see a fan on the street and we just like have a conversation and we talk and like I get to know them and like it's, it's super heartwarming to just hear their opinions about the show and I love when they give me like insight about what they think we should do with the next season and all that stuff. So it's just nice like meeting the fans and actually getting to talk to them because it's rare. A lot of time it's so quick or it's, we have to go somewhere or th there's uh, no pictures or whatever, but it, it's nice when I get to just like talk to a fan. Thank you for not being cynical about that either. And I hope that as you continue to progress in your career, you can hold on to that because it means everything to the fan in the moment uh, and that's much appreciated. Okay, quick question. And then we'll go back to one question only. Go ahead. And my second question is cereal a soup? And please explain your answer. <laughs> um, no, no. Because I was going to say hot, but like gazpacho, I feel like it's cold. Yeah. Ooh, what would you say? Uh, I would say that it's not because you can have cereal without the milk, but you can't have soup without the broth. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> you you answered your own question. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I just reminded a room full of people about what, how cereal is in a soup. <laughs> now Definitely everyone's not. on the same page. We appreciate you. Question over here? Also, if you saw like soup of the day at a restaurant, it would never be like Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> With orange juice. Uh, oh, yeah. Right. I, saw I don't know what that's about. Question over here? Um, hi, my name hi. is Sammy. So, um, whenever you were playing Dungeon and Dragons, was it ever like confusing or anything? Oh yeah, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> we need to get Will Wheaton up here to like school you guys on D&D. Yeah, no, we have like an expert on set who knew everything and would tell us like, this means this and this, you do this and you roll the dice and it, and, but I mean, it just went. <laughs> I don't know, I just say the lines and move the dice, that's all I know. Thank you. <laughs> 
Thank you. I do want to try it because it looks like a super cool game. It like, really is. Actually, it really is. Question for you. Hi, Noah. My name is Madison. I'm from Maryland. Hi. Um, so, you kind of already answered my question, but so a lot of people were freaking out over your last tweet. So, I basically just want to know if that was you or if you were hacked again. <laughs> no, what, what was my last tweet? You said that, that you should be Byler. Yeah. No, that wasn't it. I wasn't hacked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you were hacked before. Oh. Like two years. Oh yeah, that was, yeah, I could not get into my Twitter for a long time. But now, it's me tweeting, and I do ship Byler. Yeah. And they figured out that you're you, so you have access to your account again, which is nice. Yeah. Thank you so much. Question over here? Um, hi, my name is V, I'm from Baltimore, and this is kind of a stupid question. Uh, how do you feel about having had a bold cut? Like a bold cut? <laughs> I mean, it's definitely like, just at this point, I feel like I'm so much more grown up, and it's like, I still have this like, 10 year old bull club. So it's like, it's just, I don't know if it sits right with me when I'm, like, but I think, I, I can't be mean to any, any choices made by this show, so I think, it's, it is a, like the classic 80s haircut, and I, my dad told me he had that haircut. Not at this age, but in season one, he had that haircut. But he, I think it, it, it works. I would hope to have a different haircut next season. It's, it's, but again, you don't know. <laughs> well, I asked them at the premiere, and they were like, no. It's the same thing. That or they're going to give you a perm. Like, you guys ask and you shall receive. It's going to be like the Napoleon Dynamite there, right? Hi, John Peter. Thank you. Hi, question here. Um, hi, I'm Natalie from Virginia. Um, from anybody on the Stranger Things set, who became your best friend on it? I mean, I would probably say Millie is like my closest. We like do all our interviews together and stuff, and we always have fun together. Not this one. Where is she? I'm just teasing. Yeah. <laughs> but. Yeah, we, we're like the closest in age out of all the kids, so right away when, when we started filming season one, we just like clicked and we've been super close and it's, it's so great. Like I love just having such real friendships off screen and nothing's fake and just the chemistry is so real between all of the kids and the whole cast and I think that's what makes the show so good. In 25 years, thank you. In 25 years, when you're still doing cons and you're still talking about this show, you'll remember the chemistry of, on the cast because as you continue to do things, yeah. sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Totally, and we have all talked, and we definitely want to continue. Like me and Millie definitely say, when Stranger Things is over, we want to do like a movie or something else together and like keep acting together. So that's awesome. More to go. I love it. Question over here. Hi, so I'm Kimberly. I'm a re I'm originally from upstate New York. So yes, um, but my question is what scene from this season was the hardest to not break character in? Like you were just laughing so hard, you just couldn't keep your face together, and which scene was that in this season? Well, there was the one I was talking about in the next volume, but I can't even explain it. So, <laughs> I think that I was la I mean, I think this, the scene where I sing the um, never-ending story is like, <laughs> was, a, was a little like out of pocket for Will. I wasn't expecting that, but I mean, I liked it. It was fun, and I love when Will kind of did, like talks. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Is there a moment, and I I will go back and, and watch to look for it, where we can, other than the shoot up scene, where we can see something in one of your faces? It's almost like an Easter egg. Like go look for this thing because this actually. Well, happened. I mean, it's honestly up to the editors. Like hopefully they cut around our <laughs> eight hours of laughing. But um, I. Yeah, I can't explain the scene, but I'm like looking down and I'm like this, but I, I we'll I'm sure they cut around it. They wouldn't let that in, I hope. Okay, well, we'll find out. Question over here. Hi, I'm Bianca and I'm from Baltimore. So we have a lot of anime geeks here. Do you have a favorite anime? Um, I, I love to watch anime. I've never really gone into it. All I know is like Dragon Ball Z, oh, yeah. Goku. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, so, we uh, have Sean Schemmel here. He was phenomenal, the voice of Goku oh, wow. for like... What, hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of episodes and wow. multiple series. You have to go find him in the back room and get him to like do your voicemail for your phone. Here? Yeah. Now? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll make the introduction. I can help with that. Oh, that's so cool. Thanks, Thanks for that question. Thank you. you too. All right, I think we're going to get two more questions in and we'll be okay. done over here. So, if you saw the grandfather clock, what song would save you? Oh. Ooh. 
That's a good question. Um, I think, I mean, from the 80s, from the 80s I would say, I mean for Will it's obviously should I stay or should I go. So, so I mean that would be his, but for me, 80s, I'm probably like Africa, that's like, I Toto, just oh, that's so too. good, and just yeah. belting it is like, oh, my favorite. Thank you for your question, and our last question over here. Hi, I'm Caroline, I'm from Maryland, um, and I was wondering, like, on the last day of filming season four, were there any emotions or... Like, yeah, oh my god, I was bawling on our last day, I was so sad to leave because I was like, there's only one, like, it's sad, we're almost done. I, for season five, I'm gonna be a wreck, because that'll be so sad, but we always, like, cry at the end of filming, it's just kind of sad, because we're, we're living together and working together for months, and then we're just done. So it's sad, but I mean, it was fun. It was a fun way to end. Millie like pranked me and threw a bunch of water balloons at me. And she, it was a, a kind of lighthearted way to end the night. So I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity to take a selfie with you. <gasps> oh yeah, it's with you. No, we'll do because the light, unfortunately. But it's so awesome, guys. You can actually get your photos taken with him downstairs. He is signing. He is here for the rest of the day. Let's give it up for Noah. Thank you,